And home prices here in Utah also through the roof. A federal agency now ranking Salt Lake sixth in the nation for home price increases. And that's pricing out a lot of Utah families. So we gave Deanie a home challenge, you could say. Is it still possible to find a house for 350 k well, it's possible, but it is not easy. You now need a six-figure income, more than $100,000, to afford the median home price in Salt Lake. But finding a home on a budget doesn't have to be mission impossible. Paige Hansen is chasing the American dream on a budget. So the kitchen's pretty cute. Like, I want to have a home for my, me and my girls and my dog. Like, yeah. I want to have that. What can she get? It's super tough right now. <laughs> or just under $350,000? I can't be too picky right now. In many neighborhoods, housing prices have rocketed so high, they're likely out of reach. It's a sticker shock situation initially. If you want to stay right in the city or the close in suburbs, you're probably not going to find anything in that price range. But patience is key. Home listings change daily. On this day, the number of available $350,000 single-family homes, zero, in Summit, Wasatch, or Washington counties, according to realtors in those areas. The multiple listing service showed one in Utah County and just a few dozen homes in the major counties combined. This 870-square-foot cottage built in 1894 in Salt Lake's avenues is out of our price range. But utahrealestate.com shows $350,000 would get you three and four bedrooms in Magna, a three bedroom, one bath in Sunset, and four homes to choose from in Tooele under 1,500 square feet fit our budget. Farther south, 350 k will buy two bedrooms in Spanish Fork three bedrooms in Cedar City, and three to five bedrooms in Beaver. A few years ago, you could say, yes, I want these specifics, this specific neighborhood. Today, you have to be a little bit more flexible. Be flexible, not just in location, as the Wagamans learned. Uh, again, this was all tile and carpet, and so it's all kind of brand new. At first, you know, we, we told a realtor, we were like, you know, no townhouses, no condos. The Wagamans got a darling townhome in Cottonwood Heights in our price range. Here's the tub. <laughs> with the tub of her dreams. Right over here. <laughs> they credit working with good professionals who knew about a first-time home buyer plan where they could borrow the cost of the down payment. Instead of spending every dime we have on a house and then moving in and not having anywhere to sleep on or not having, you know, a dining room table to eat at. Market experts say making a human connection can often be what gets your offer accepted. Talk to builders. Have your loan officer call the selling agent. It's not all about making the most money and taking the best offer. It's about providing housing to people who might also need, need a hand. Finally, don't get discouraged. Paige Hansen is looking at some condos and is hopeful her $350,000 challenge will soon be mission accomplished. So one other key to success that every realtor mentioned is just get in the game. Don't look for your perfect dream home. Get a home that you can afford and start building some equity. Incredible how much everything has jumped up, though. Oh, it really, it shows you that it's just, it's doubled yeah. in recent years. Yeah, great story. Thanks. All right. Mm -hmm. uh,